Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we've actually got a Grey Nichols player bat. The story behind this is the owner ordered three player bats at once in late 2018. You've already seen the Marcus Stoinis. This is the Renshaw. Power play on the Discord server actually provided this bat for review. In late 2018 he ordered a Williamson, a Stoinis and a Renshaw. Uh, and this is before Grey Nichols were making the actual player bats. So what he actually uh, asked for was uh, custom orders of each of those profiles. Now, Stuart Cransbuehler at the time didn't have time to make all the bats. So what he did was he took from Stoinis's and Renshaw's private stash before they had their allotment. And this is the Renshaw bat. It's never been used as you can see here. We've got 2.9 written on the handle there. You can see this is 2018, you can see a little bit of discoloration there on the handle. I might pull that down, see what we can see underneath there. And you've got MR for Matt Renshaw, and you've got the normal uh, binding that Grey Nichols Australia use. Up here on the shoulder, we have a V for 2018. And on the back of the bat, we have an A. I'm deliberately making this hard for you. And here on the shoulder, we've got the GN, which was uh, familiar at that time. So there you go. That is the Matt Renshaw shape, player shape. And it is massive, isn't it? Uh, higher middle than I expected. Um, even though he's tall, I would have expected something around this area, but you can see he wants a long playing area there because he's facing the quickers, quicks, so the ball's going to be hitting a lot higher on the bat. So he's got this whole area basically for hitting. Beautiful shape. Uh, he's gone for the flat toe. And you can see they're really nice grains and really full. Uh, yeah, this has actually been prepared for Matt uh, by the factory and it's pretty much what they would give to the players ready to go. Put the gauge on it. I've never taken it out of the bag, so let's have a look at how it fills out the gauge. So you can see here, firstly, camber is a slightly rounded face. That's the five mil camber. It's probably about a four and a half mil. And it's pretty much almost touching the top of the spine there. And as far as the edges go, we're looking at about 39 and probably a spine height of about 66. Really full. Um, toe looks quite thick too, and there's quite a bit of volume left up here in the shoulders. You can see that's fully convex all the way through the profile from this angle here. As far as bow goes, there is bow there. So we've got probably a, I'd say a mid high or mid bow, putting at the toe. 23 at the toe edge and 27 in the center, even though that's a flat toe because of that rounding of the face, you get about four mil more. And up here at the shoulder, we're looking at 13. Up here at the top, let's see what we've got. So 39.5, the edge, you can pretty much tell by the gauge. So 38.9. And we'll measure that spine even though... So it's slightly less than the bat I just did. And... It is, I said, I think 66. It might be 65. 65 and a half. The width of the blade with the scuff sheet on, it's 108.6. So that allows for an extra millimetre um, that you get when you put the scuff sheet on. And when you actually look at the gauge, they always allow for tapes for repair. So you've got that, 
that margin of error there. Yeah, it's a massive bat. I really like uh, that full player profile. Generally, these sort of bats don't uh, pick up any better than their weight. Um, the handle shape itself, unlike a normal Kranz Bueller, this one's sort of on the small to medium side. It's not as thick as some of the stew handles I've seen through. So that's obviously for Matty, that he likes that, that sort of uh, shape. It's quite oval at the bottom there and semi-oval at the top. Uh, dirt on there, I, th I think the owner's been definitely swinging this around before he could see it uh, knocked in. He definitely wants to use it now. Um, it's not for sale. Remember the bats that I show you are actually owned by players. They send them in at their cost, both legs. And if you like what you're seeing, please uh, like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. If you want to send me a bat, reach out to me on either the Facebook page via the PM there or join the Discord server. I've said before when I did the Stoinis bat, I think I was a little bit down about the bat and, and what I was trying to relay there is I don't really want people thinking you have to chase player bats to get the best performance. Yeah, you see these full shapes as you've got there, but I've seen performance out of bats that, that you know don't have that sort of nice look of, of willow there. Um, it's all to do with the willow itself and it doesn't matter what the grains are like. Um, it's, it's the inherent performance of the willow. So you don't really need to go chasing this type of bat, spending huge amounts of money to get the style of performance you'll get from these types of bats. I'm being absolutely honest there. Uh, the grains, look, it's, it's got a little knot up here, but it's definitely a high grade. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grains. Slight bit of a tenth coming through there. Yeah, stunning, stunning looking uh, bat. I know that uh, CA and, and other bat makers like Keeley will have much prettier uh, looking clefts um, sometimes. But I guarantee you that when Stu actually picks these clefts out, he's grading on density, performance and looks. All those three are high. Now, if they normally are really high, that's the sort of quality you'll get when you buy the top of the line bats from Grey Nichols. And, and the player shapes are about $950. You'll get this sort of uh, willow for sure. All right, we'll bring in the scales and we'll see exactly what it weighs. Before I do that, I'm just gonna have a feel of the bat, tell you what I think it feels like. Okay, it feels like 28 to me, to be honest. Um, maybe 28 and a half. It's, it's a really nice pickup, even though I said that often these full shapes aren't. Let's put it on the scales. And it's 210 and a half. It's actually put on some weight there. So it must have been 2.9 when it left the factory, but it's actually put on a bit of weight. Because that's occurred throughout the whole profile, it hasn't really changed the pickup of the bat at all. So, you know, just because just it absorbs all that uh, moisture, uh, it's not going to actually change the pickup of it too much. All right, we'll get this out of the way and we'll bring in the other bat and we'll do the tap up. So as usual, that's the, uh, the Grey Nichols ultimate and we'll tap from the toe okay so it's a nice bat so they're about seven hundred dollars retail probably less at the moment and now we'll tap up this bat which has apparently been not See there, that mid-high middle, really nice there. So he can punch off the back foot. And it's a really nice press. And it's very consistent with that volume you've got there for the bat. It's in this area here. Yeah, it's really nice. But you would have seen the uh, rub pack I did recently. And look, that was an, uh, a um, nowhere near as good looking a bat 
but it pinged really, really nicely. So, uh, and it would definitely be much cheaper. So you don't have to buy uh, bats like this to get this sort of performance and pick up. Uh, I'm very impressed with that. Even though the sticker has started to lift with age, I can just push that back down. See that there. Yeah, it's very nice. So that there was taken from Matt Renshaw's bin. Uh, it doesn't have the engraving that you saw later on. When these started to become popular, they decided to release them as a commercial thing. So I think they're $950 uh, if you buy them. Uh, but this one would have been destined for his hands. But because uh, I think Stu was, it was towards the end of uh, 2018. So it was getting really busy and he just didn't have time. So he just grabbed it out and made him another one to replace it when he had the time. So I think that's just magnificent. That there is a Matt Renshaw Atomic 1400 and it's that full player profile shape. Thank you very much to Powerplay for sending that in and uh, if you want to keep up with all the reviews I do I'll try to keep you busy during this horrible time in the world with um, COVID-19. Um, if you enjoy the channel please subscribe. I do want to try and reach uh, 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and uh, nothing that I do is actually for payment. Uh, Matt Renshaw.